And welcome and cheers. This is a uh, what we call a sip. It's not a full show, uh, but it's also a sip of Strega, literally and figuratively. And uh, Strega is just one of the great Italian liqueurs that we look for all the time, and you got to try it. I'm going to try it now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now it's so delicious. And ironically, you know, not a lot of Italian restaurants carry this anymore. Um, they're few and far between, but you always give them a hard time whether they have it or not. And even if they're not an Italian restaurant. I always say, if you don't have Strega, you can't, you've got to take down the sign that you're an Italian restaurant. Nine times out of ten they say, but sir, we're not an Italian restaurant. So. We're a sushi restaurant, so. yeah, or, or a French restaurant. Or <laughs> but this is, I, I'm serious, it's one of the great after dinner drinks. Um, it's been around since 1860s. And it, you were the one that pointed out how many, there's like 70 different spices and herbs that mm -hmm. are in this. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, you'll taste mint, you'll taste juniper. It, it's kind of got a little gin quality. To me, it kind of tastes like it liquid does. basil. And that's what I always call it because it's it's so smooth and creamy. Um, and it has that flavor of basil. And if you like licorice, you'll love this. Um, so it is kind of a little bit, it's a chartreuse color. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of time and love that goes into making this. And that's why it's not really available everywhere. And it's called strega because strega means witch in Italian. And I first tried this when I was in the Piazza San Marco. I was a student over there. And it's it's just stayed with me. I, it, I always look for it. I always, anytime always I go to a restaurant, it. I always ask for it. And uh, and I've, I've turned on a lot of folks to it as well. So Oh, including me. Now you introduced me to it. And um, luckily we were able to find it that day. But we... We, I, of course, straight away, I fell in love with it because it is just so yummy and delicious. It's the perfect thing to have after you've had a big meal as a digestive. It's very good. And we recently saw it at the Italian American Club. They had it there because, of course, they are a true old school Italian restaurant. And this was in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, we also found it at another great Italian restaurant in Las Vegas called Panavino. Yes. So the, distrib the distributor here... Uh, of Strega, I think they go through Southern Wine and Spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask for it, they're going to have it for you. And I've actually um, been to a couple of restaurants, and then I've said, "Oh, do you have Strega?" And then I've gone back, and they go, "Oh yeah, we do have it now." So if th they'll hear you. So don't be afraid to ask for it. It's, Absolutely. It's really yeah. But the guy at the Italian American, our waiter Renee, the second you said, "Do you have Strega?" expecting him to say what's that he goes yeah of course we got strega <laughs> we got it right here so they totally get it there and and panavino does too they both totally get it and you know in italy they also use this in a lot of desserts and yep. cakes and pastries and candy recipes so you'll find it in that too so if you if you're going over to italy go try to find some strega and have it over there it's uh, it's it's spectacular or, or even if you're coming to vegas check out panavino or the italian american club and they both got it so cheers. Cheers. Salud.